Here's how to fix live wallpaper if it's not working on your iPhone. Now, the first thing we're going to do is head into the settings. There are two different things we'll check in your settings itself. The first thing is we're going to tap on battery midway down. Once you're in there, if you have low power mode turned on, this will reduce the ability to have that live wallpaper on your iPhone running iOS 18. So just turn the low power mode off. You can see the battery at the top right turns from yellow over to black indicating it's off. The second thing we'll do in your settings itself is we're going to scroll down and tap on accessibility because within accessibility, another thing could be limiting that live wallpaper. You can see midway down is motion. Let's just tap on that. Now you can see at the very top is reduced motion of the user interface, including the parallax effects of icons. So if you have that turned on, then it could prevent the ability of your iPhone to do that live wallpaper. So again, turn that feature off. Now, after we've done that, let's swipe down from the top left to see our wallpaper. And I'm going to tap and hold on it to pull this up basically to customize it. Now, if you're on a specific wallpaper, you might not be able to see the functionality that gives you the ability to turn on or off the live wallpaper. And the reason for this is not every photo has the ability to have a live photo. Basically, you need to have taken it as a live photo. So let's tap the little plus at the bottom right. And now you can filter just for live photos by tapping on live at the top right. And from here, you can choose whichever one you want. Let's say this one I want to choose. You can see at the bottom left next to the pictures is a little play button with a circle around it. That indicates that it is a live photo. If it is tapped and it has the X around it, that means it is disabled. So you just want to tap on it again to make sure it's enabled. And then you can move it around. You can zoom it in or out or adjust it however you want, and it will stay as live. Now, keep in mind, if you go through all of these steps and none of this works for you, the last thing that I would recommend doing is just shutting down your phone and restarting your phone. A lot of times that fixes any bugs or glitches on your iPhone.